Hi everyone, Paul here. I uh, just thought I'd give you a brief update. Uh, one of the things the engineers asked me to do is fit an emergency flasher so that it turns on both headlights, so both indicators. Um, now this bike doesn't have that normally uh, and there's a whole question of whether I should actually have to do that if the bike didn't come with it but I thought well what the hell it's a nice safe thing to have. Um, I wanted to run it off the 12 volt that is permanently um, on the bike rather than have to turn the key on because if I've got the key on then I can turn the indicators on right. Um, so the only bit of hack hackery that I had to do here was this connector there um, I soldered, I added that in that um, connects to the permanently on 12 volts which also connects to the dash I have no idea why the dash needs to permanently 12 volts permanently connected because you can see it's not actually doing anything when the bike is off um, but anyway so I, I always like um, leaving things as they are and uh, not chopping and changing cables if they if I need to um, change something then I'd prefer not to have to chop it back um, so I designed this little thing uh, this intercept here uh, this blue connector is the uh, left hand controls so it's the headlight uh, the main beam and uh, high beam and the left and right indicators and also the choke switch uh, so that when the choke is on, the bike engine control knows about it. I don't need that, so I've repurposed those wires. Those are those two black ones there. Uh, so we have one coming from the um, 12 volt, going up to the one side of the switch. Uh, there's the clutch switch there, so it comes through that switch there via a little adapter. Um, and um, comes back to a flasher relay. I need the flasher relay because the flasher relay that mainly drive that, that normally drives the indicators is actually buried back in the bike, and that's that. So the the bike starts the supplies power to the flasher relay that goes through the switch, and then the switch goes to the lights. Uh, so without wanting to, if I didn't want to run a bunch of wires all the way back to the bike, I decided well I'll just put in a new relay in here. Uh, so that comes to this little. Um, switch here which also which splices into the yellow and green left and right indicator um, and so now when I turn the switch on you can see the left uh, left and right indicators um, and that's uh, that's kind of handy <laughs> 